Hello year 4, how are you? Hope you are fine. This is new unit, unit 9 and part 1 video lesson 1. Uh, so get ready with your learner's book and activity book. Learner's book page number 126 to 127 and activity book page number 100 to 101. So this is new unit, unit 9, lesson 1, looking backwards and forwards. So these are the learning objective, listening, listen to a radio interview, speaking, talk about school holidays. These are the vocabulary words, holiday uh, activities, agreeing and disagreeing. So tell me now, what do you like to do in the long holidays? Like what activities do you like? Uh, like do you like to go to swimming in the summer holidays or how, how often you will go? And with whom you'll go and however you have been to summer camp did you go to any summer camp uh, did you go last year are you going for holidays the, this year you're going for any holidays like so what do you like to do in the long holidays like summer holidays or uh, you know in winter holidays uh, summer holidays very long so what do you like to do in summer holidays so let's take out your learner's book uh, uh, page number 126 activity one talk about it what kind of activities do you do in the school holidays when is your longest school holiday how long is it what do you like best about school holidays are there any disadvantages long, long holidays like so what activities do you like in uh, school holidays like summer holidays and uh, when is your longest i think uh, the longest holidays is a uh, now what is going on about the coronavirus like it's too long for you i think even you're getting bored sitting at home doing nothing and uh, if you like to go in summer, if it is summer holidays, uh, so uh, that will be, I think, the longest. And what do you like the best about the school holidays? When, when the school holidays came, what do you like the best? Um, and there are the there are the things that you don't like to do, uh, you don't like about the holidays. If they are too long, what do you don't like to do in the holidays? Like, uh, why, what is the disadvantage about it? So now let's go to uh, activity 2, listen, learner's book page number 126 and just going to listen to CD2, track 22. So you're going to listen to the interview uh, with these children and match to the, uh, the children what they're going to do in this from the box, okay? So I'm going to read, so listen carefully to match to the uh, pictures to the correct uh, sentence. So let me do now with the activities, what they're doing activities. So listen carefully. Reporter. What do you all do in your school holidays? We have invited some of you in the studio to find out what you all have in common and most different about the way you spend your school holidays. So let's go first to Anna from Brazil. Hi, Anna. Hi. Reporter, tell us something. How do you spend your long school holidays? Anna, well, I, s I spend a lot of time with my grandparents because my mom and dad are at work during the day. Reporter, okay, what you do you get up to, Anna? Well, Grandma, let's make me bake cookies and we all go to the park with the dog and we go shopping too and sometimes go on a day trip to the seaside. Last year, my sister ran a job around the house to earn extra pocket money. Reporter, thanks, Anna. And what about you, Louis? Louis, we always go camping near the sea during our summer holidays. Reporter, really? What do you like about that? No, it's, I love being outside and eating food that we have cooked on the campfire. Last year, it was very windy and we nearly set the fire to the tent. It's really good fun though. We play football on the beach, go fishing and swimming as well. Reporter, that's great. Then now let's hear someone else, Jasim from Jordan. Tell us about your school holidays. Jasim. Uh, well, uh, for most of my holidays, I help my in my mom and dad shop. Reporter, hi, ah, yes. And how do you help out, Jasim? I serve customers and tidy the shelves, go with my dad to the warehouse, the sort of thing. Uh, it's great because I earn extra pocket money and shops me getting bored at home. Stops me getting bored at home. Reporter, ha ha. And do you work there every day of the holidays? Yes, no, not every day. When I am not there, I will go to my cousin's house and we play football or go out on our bikes. Reporter, thanks, Jasim. Now over to Carly. Carly, I love going to sports campaign, a camp. I have been every year for the last three years. Reporter, and where, what do you like about it? Carly, 
uh, it's uh, really great. You get to do sports like football, basketball and swimming every day and you make a lots of new friends. There is something to do all day, every day and you never get bored. Reporter. Okay, thanks guys. Now let's move to move on to so did you now listen uh, you listen all the what they like to do so now i want you to match what the each child likes to do with the activities so um, so uh, just match it now and uh, check your answers in the next slide okay now activity three talk Le uh, learners book page number 126 talk what activities do the children mention from your list in activity one so what activities do the children mention from activity one so what all the activities they are listed uh, so uh, you, okay what all activities are listed so you need to tell okay now uh, let's go to activity four listen again you need to listen same thing what did i uh just read about their uh, yeah, about the interviews of all the children so now you have to tell me whether it is true or false so uh you need to tell me what is it result so listen again uh g decide if the sentence are true or false correct the false sentence you need to correct the false sentences so in this you have to go back to the activity three listen again and uh, say whether the answers are true or false okay anna earns extra pocket money by helping in her mom and dad shop number two Last year on a holiday, Louis nearly set fire to the car. Number three, Justin spends time at cousin's house during the holidays. Number four, Carly has been to the same place for the last four years. So I want you to do it by yourself and correct the sentence also and check your answer in the next slide. 